When Humphrey Bogart roared through Lone Pine, California with the police right behind in 1941's High Sierra, he headed up Whitney Portal Road. His eventual fate, a lawman's bullet. In the past 75 years, scores of actors, movie and television crews have headed out that same road. But they've stopped just short of the Sierras on a picturesque piece of land known here as the Alabama Hills. Take me back to my booth and saddle. It is a natural for the Western. Gene Autry rode down many a bad man here, as did Roy Rogers, John Wayne, Hopalong Cassidy, Randolph Scott. But before the cowboys began to talk, or even sing, it was a favorite for silent stars such as Tom Mix and Hoot Gibson. It was silent screen comedian Fatty Arbuckle who gets credit for the first movie made in these parts. It was called The Roundup, and the year was 1920. That Indian, by the way, is Arbuckle's good friend and movie legend Buster Keaton, doing a favor for Arbuckle in the first movie to use the rocks of the Alabama hills. 60 miles to Batu. We hand the herd over to the captain of the transport fleet there and then back to India. Hollywood also uses the Sierras and the Alabams to double for the frontier outposts of India. Errol Flynn and David Niven were here for charge of the light brigade. Gary Cooper for lies of a Bengal Lancer. He's mine. And Cary Grant, Doug Fairbanks Jr., and Victor McLaughlin in Gunga Dia. Drop it. Fast! Get up and keep your hands high. But the greatest number of movies, like Along the Great Divide with Kirk Douglas, used it for just what it is, a magnificent Western setting. The Alabams even quieted the itch on Clint Eastwood's trigger finger in Joe Kidd. I came here to hunt chum and not kill people in cold blood. Lone Pine celebrated its movie heritage this past weekend with the first Sierra Film Festival. With funding from the California Arts Council and the National Endowment for the Arts, the event was highlighted as hundreds gathered along the aptly named Movie Road, there to see the Arts Council honor a man who made his first starring movie here. Of course, we especially remember the days when Roy Rogers and Trigger rode these happy trails. And so to Hollywood's King of the Cowboys, we say thank you, not only for today, but for all those wonderful yesteryears. I've made my very first picture here, and we were talking about it a while ago, and we made it last January, 1938. Wow. 52 years ago, last January. I think probably the most important picture in my life was my first one. Because and it was under Western, under Western Stars. And uh, uh, it took us nine days to make it, which is almost broke the studio in those days, because <laughs> they uh, didn't have much of a budget for most of our pictures. Although they've been shooting movies in these rocks for seven decades, no book provided information about where to find the various places where scenes were shot. That is, not until now, when author historian Dave Holland's On Location in Lone Pine came off the presses. Now, you want to know where the Lone Ranger ambush was filmed for the 1938 Republic serial? Just follow the directions in Holland's book. That funny-looking rock that turned up in Lives of a Bengal Lancer and a dozen other movies? Holland talks about it in a chapter called Time and Time Again. And the Temple of Kali, where all that evil was brewed in Gunga Din. It's right there, nestled in the rocks off Horseshoe Meadow Road. And Dave Holland can show you remnants and shatter illusions, such as in the suspension bridge scene from Gunga Din. And here, Jim, you can see how far off the ground they really were. The suspension bridge started here, about 15 feet above the road, and ended up over there. Yeah, it just stretched right across this way. There are still some pieces of the concrete foundation on the other side. It would take a lengthy documentary to touch on all the actors and behind-the-scenes personnel who have left their mark here. This was only a brief return to those thrilling days of yesteryear. For today, Jim Brown, NBC News, in the Alabama Hills at Lone Pine, California.